When you combine the power of a selection with the move tool, you can get perfect placement every time. When creating projects in Photoshop or Photoshop Elements, there can be times when it's very handy to be able to center type or a shape or some other element over a certain area on the document. In this quick tip, I'm going to show you how to do that. I'll show you three examples of how to use a selection with the Move tool to center something. But before I do that, I want to explain in general how this works. So first, you're going to make a selection around the area that you want to center something. That selection can be made with any selection tool or by Control or Command clicking on a layer's thumbnail to get a selection outline. Second, you'll get the Move tool if you don't have it already. Third, you'll make sure that the item you wish to center is the item or layer that is active in the Layers panel. And then fourth, you'll use the Align Horizontal Centers and the Align Vertical Centers icons to center the layer within the selection. So now that you have the general idea, let me show you three quick examples of how this can work. In this first example, I have a card that is almost finished. I have my card title layers put into this title group, but I want to center my title group to this area between the two rounded rectangles or more specifically this rounded rectangle and this flower. So to do that, I'm going to get the rectangular marquee tool and then in the tool options, I'll click on the new selection icon, set the feather to zero and set the aspect to normal. Photoshop users set the style to normal. So then on the document, you'll click and drag a selection that goes from the right edge of this left rounded rectangle to the left edge of the white flower. Make sure that it also goes from the top edge to the bottom edge of these rounded rectangles. So something like that. And if you need to, you can press and hold the space bar to reposition the selection. So that looks pretty darn good right there. Now let go of the mouse. Then we're going to get the move tool. Then in the layers panel, make sure that the layer you wish to center is the active layer. In my case, it's this title group layer. So then I'll get to the tool options and I'll click on the align horizontal centers icon and the align vertical centers icon. And now my title group is perfectly centered within this selection. So then I can press control D in windows or command D on a Mac to deselect. Now my card greeting is centered within that area I wanted and I'm so happy with how it looks. In this second example, let's say that you're trying to make your own journal card and that you wish to center a circle on this rounded rectangle. This time, to get a selection, I'm going to control or command click on the thumbnail of the rounded rectangle layer to get a selection outline around the rounded rectangle. Then in the layers panel, I'm going to click on the circle layer to make it the active layer. Then you can get the move tool if you don't already have it. And in the tool options, I'll click on the align horizontal centers icon and the align vertical centers icon. Then I can press control D in windows or command D on a Mac to deselect. From there, I can clip some complementary papers onto my two different shape layers. And now I can use this journal card on a project. And third, here's a scrapbook page I've been working on of my granddaughter Riley. She's getting really good at feeding herself now, and I wanted to make a page using these pictures of her. On this page, I wanted to document how old she was because she's growing so fast, and I just don't want to forget these little milestones. So in this first square where the empty white circle is, I want to put her age. I've already created the word art to document her age. Now all I need to do is center that age within the white circle. So I'm going to use the same steps. I will get a selection outline by control or command clicking on the circles thumbnail in the layers panel. Then I'll get the move tool if I don't already have it. And then in the layers panel, I'll make sure that the layer I wish to center is the active layer. So in my case, it's this word art here. Then I'll go to the tool options and I'll click on the align horizontal centers icon and the align vertical centers icon. Then I can press control D in windows or command D on a Mac to deselect. 
and now the age is centered perfectly within the circle. So that's how you use the power of selections and the move tool to get perfect placement every time. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and consider subscribing to our channel. This has been Jennifer Juris with Digital Scrapper. We help you get your stories told.